This is a presentation of RBT Entertainment. Hi, hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the WrestleCast, presented by RBT Entertainment on TheBrokenInfinite.com, Podomatic.com, iTunes, and wherever else we find his fine audio recording it live on RBT Entertainment's official Twitch.tv channel. Talking about professional wrestling, both in the mainstream and the independent scene. Yeah, we're late. Blame Mother Nature for that one. Of course, Theme Maddie would blame of the, the week woman. for RBT streams this week. Just My name's Matty J, that's TWK. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm TWK of TWK Reviews, and as usual, Maddie likes to blame women for his problems. <laughs> Let's be honest here. You've blamed Mother Nature for the same thing. It has happened. I'm not kidding. We're just going through a, 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 a strong wind warning here in the National Capital Area uh, region, and uh, it knocked out our power five times tonight. So we want to take, and just before we went live, 9.55, Dude. so we wanted to make absolutely sure that we were able to actually go live in the first place. Anyway, how's your evening going? Uh, not too bad, not too bad at all. I We, we got a new kitty here, so hey. I'm happy. Awesome. <laughs> uh, what a week. What a fucking week, man. Oh, yes. What a week. We have actually a lot to discuss in the news front. So We got news. Uh, we got news. A shitload of news. And, by the way, third segment, no big deal. Backlash. That's the least exciting thing happening this entire yeah. show. I guarantee now, by you. the way, a pay-per-view is happening tonight. I don't know if you noticed. Uh, what pay-per-view is happening tonight? Oh, and I'm sorry. This weekend. That's how fucked up things are with WWE. Well, technically, there are two pay-per-views happening. One that I'm excited for, and then the other one's WWE. What's the other one that's having you excited for? We'll talk about that in the first segment. Ah. Teaser. Good. Yeah, good, 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 good. I'll give you hints. Riot Girl style entertainment. Ooh, women's wrestling? Yes. We got some New Japan news. We got T-Dub's uh, independent promotion news because indie wrestling, of course. And, oh, uh, of I course, I Backlash. I knew I was missing something. Huh? What were you the missing? News. The VCW news. Makes a whole lot of sense. Hey, VCW made it to kayfabe news. Yes, yes, they did. Oh, we'll, we'll talk about that. We, we this It happened last week, but we forgot to talk about it because everything else was going on. That That's not what time. I was going to bring up. Uh, anyways, keep going on. Keep going. We'll, keep going. We'll, we'll, we'll talk about it. What's the clip of the week? Clip of the week, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, this was a tough one to find. And then Don Taku happened. One week ago today, one Christopher Jericho made it as number 50 entry in the, quote, greatest, unquote, Royal Rumble. One week later. Or if you want to do the Spongebob joke, one week later, clip of the week, we come back to Naito saying glad handing with the people in Fukuoka, Japan. Take a listen. Take a 
take it easy. Wonder what Naito thinks about tonight's main event. What a glory hog. The Naito movement is growing stronger and stronger. The people love him. We're, we're just going to fight by a fan. Somebody, a fan just attacked him. What the hell? Get security. Come on. Get security. Some fan just. Wait a minute. Assaulting him. He might have hit him with something. I don't know. What did he. What did he. The, the building security is going after him. What is this? What in the world is this? This is ridiculous. Well, need to get security. Throwing. What the? Well, who in the world is it's this? Lij. He's got an Lij mask, mask on. Get in there. Somebody get in there and stop this. The other members of Los Ingobernables de Japón have left. Wait a minute. And Naito is down. Yeah. Who is this? Who is this? It's Jericho! What? It's Jericho! Oh my God, it's Chris Jericho again! Jericho is back to shock the world in Fukuoka one more time! My God! Code breaker from Jericho on Tetsuya Naito. He attacked Naito at New Year's Dash. And Jericho is assaulting Naito, brutalizing him with punches to the face. I love the fact that we have Chris Jericho's New Japan theme in 8-bit form. Yeah, Judas. Uh, Judas by Fozzie. Great oh. choice. Great choice by the man who beat up Tetsuya Naito the night before. Was it? This was uh, during the tag match. This was today. This was uh, today, tonight, earlier tonight in Japan. Earlier tonight in Japan. Earlier yeah, today. Tonight, yeah. You woke uh, okay. up and found that Chris Jericho really did have a contract. And he was fucking with us. Yep. Chris Jericho, greatest swerve master in the history of pro wrestling. He knows Anyways, how to yes, work you, I, I tell you. So I guess uh, Jericho versus Naito at the Cow Palace, I suppose. Either Cow Palace or Dominion. I, it's, it's really, they haven't announced anything yet, but it, it's definitely happening now. My uh, God! Kind of, well, they've only sold about four thousand tickets to the event at the moment. I say, yeah, if you want to sell that fucker out, Cow Palace, Jericho, Naito. Yes, and uh, some other news. Yes, <laughs> uh, in the Bull Club Civil War, it seems like everybody is united as one following that uh, ten man tag. They're all together except for Cody and Kenny. They're having their own war, and everyone is found together. And for the first time in what feels like forever, the Young Bucks too sweeted. Bullet Club is fine. And then Matt Jackson went on commentary and said, that's probably going to cost me about $150,000 if a certain stooge sees this. <laughs> Would not be surprised at all. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Jackson. It is I, the most faithful WWE employee. How dare you? <laughs> because who's more of a stooge than him? People power. Except for the people who are too sweeting me. That's five thousand dollars, bitch. <laughs>
of course, that's not my favorite part of the evening. My favorite part is after the classic junior heavyweight title match between Will Ospreay and Kushida, out came Tama Tonga, and he announced that there that Bone Soldier would be returning. And then he, and then Osprey turned around. There was Bone Soldier took out Mr. Will Osprey, and then Bone Soldier took off the mask. And guess who Bone Soldier is now, Maddie? Now I don't know who Bone Soldier is. I have not seen the the, the show yet. Actually, as a matter of fact, I'm waiting for that. It's definitely not Captain New Japan from the sound nope, of your toy. because Captain New Japan is a heavyweight. This guy's a junior heavyweight. So I'm legitimate. This could be, will be a I guess spoiler. you could say that this guy has the X factor. Sean Waltman? No. Another hint. I guess you could say that Will Ospreay uh, is going to need some mothballs. Marty the Moth Martinez, isn't he a heavyweight? No, not him. All right. This will, this will not, this, you know, people, people are worried about me about spoilers. I was worried about Avenger spoilers. This, this is just fine. Uh, I'm, trying, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to give you some hints to see if you can guess it yourself. All right. He is a recent free agent in the world of pro wrestling. Huh. Recent, recent. Can't be Neville, couldn't it? Nope, nope. He's still under. He's contract. still under WWE contract, so it can't be him. Nope. Huh. He left a promotion about a month and a half ago. Month and a half ago. Month and a half ago, free agent X Factor. Come on, X X. Think so X. former. Okay, so definitely former X Division champion. Yes. Hmm. Is he a belt collector by chance? No. Damn it, I was... Ah! Oh. This person mm. is... Taiji Ishimori! No! He jumped from Noah? Yeah. Holy by shit. By the way, about a month and a half ago, called it. He dropped some... Wow. You know what? For you, bud. For you, bud. I'm in the popo one. That that is. God damn. Let me let me let me, let me do some things here. Called oh, it. God damn. Yeah, I knew that when he left. No, I was like, he's either going to NXT or New Japan. Well, you called it, bud. Yeah, because I knew that he would be a great fit for the junior heavyweight division. However, I did not expect for them to put him immediately in the junior heavyweight title division, and I was definitely not expecting him to be a part of Bullet Club. Yeah, that's Ishimori's a Japanese dude, so Bullet so now Club. Now being... two Japanese people there. Wow. By the way, I'm adjusting my mic because the thing was uh, about to fall off the thing and. During Don't mid-show, that. that's not a good thing. Anyway, um, of course, yeah, Ishimori and Bullet Club, huh? Yeah, Ishimori's now in Bullet Club. He's going to be challenging for the junior, junior high bullet title very soon. That's going to be a hell of a match, by the way. Osprey versus Ishimori? So having seen the man live? Fuck yes, I'm in on that. Oh yeah, you were at one of those Impact tapings, right? Mm -hmm. So you got to see him firsthand. This guy's good. Oh, yes, yes, yes. He, he, he's, he's absolutely a, he's, amazing. He's good. He is fun to watch live. I will say this right now. Don't Michael Cole him. Don't Michael Cole him. What do you mean, me? You, no, you said he was fun to watch. That's a Michael Cole death note line. I... <clears throat> well, thanks for ruining it now. I know that just like that's like I, I was that, being honest. I was being unhappy for him. I know you didn't mean it, but like every time Michael Cole says that somebody's fun to watch... Their career's dead. Okay. When Michael Cole says it, that's a that's a kiss of death. If a fan says it, it shouldn't be the kiss of death. Sometimes, unfortunately. Name the last time I said something like that and killed someone's career. I dare Adam you. Rose. I never said that about Adam Rose. I'm pretty sure you did. I'm pretty sure you said he was fun. I'm pretty sure you were saying that yourself, dude. 
It's Adam Rose. Nevertheless, uh, great things in this future in New Japan. And, oh, of course, thinking yeah. of big things in the future, the main events, Okada versus Tanashi, another classic in their feud. That's the what I hold. Why? Like, like they, they've, they, New Japan, NJPW World's got the four, the, four, the four top matches, right? Put yeah, the whole the show in! I'm like a begging it No! Come on! <laughs> <sighs> that would a knock. Yeah, that's just, just that's just the best way to put it right there. We're back live. You'll see something. Knock. Your, uh, <laughs> the team. <laughs> uh, talking about uh, the main event, uh, Okada versus Tanahashi, and how it was another classic in their feud. Apparently, it was so awesome and knocked that out my fucking power. Thank you, wins. That that's just the power of the ace. <laughs> yeah, for those wondering, uh, let's see. We have new never open weight ch uh, tag champs in, the, in the Young Bucks and Marty Skrull. 34, 36, Okada makes it 12. Yep, Okada now has 12 defenses, and his next one is going to be against Kenny Omega in a 2 out of 3 falls match with no time limit. Dominion? I'm assuming so, yes. Ooh. That that's gonna be like an hour and a half e top. Easily. We are not we are not ready for that. Like our bodies are ready, but we are this is like Avengers. We're not ready. Oh no. <laughs> this is Hey Maddie. What? Well you're giving me a golf a clap? I was trying to do a snap. Oh god. <laughs> Fuck it, the shit things are the way shit things are going right now. <laughs> hey, thank you, DJ Frostling. May the fourth be with you as well. A man of Schwartz be where they are. <laughs> thank you. Uh, anyways, so yeah, the New Japan, they only put up their four main event matches right now. They haven't uploaded the full show as far as I can tell. I don't know why, but sometimes with some of the shows, they take a while to upload. I, I, I don't know why. It's stupid. I hope there's a good reason. Yeah, it's the only thing I can think of. Uh, going to WWE for just a little bit, just a little bit, for our new segment. Uh, something that made me and Maddie happy, we got to see two tag teams on Raw from Canada. Yeah, uh, 3.0 made it. Yeah, you know, uh, oh. Francois and the other guy? Uh, Jean-Sébastien or Jean-Francois and Louis, Jean-Louis and Francois, something like that. Yeah, they gave him really stereotypical French Canadian yes. names. Anyways, that was actually Big Magic Shane Matthews and Scott Jagger Parker, aka 3.0. And they got to cut a promo. In Gorilla. Yeah. That's right cool. Next, right next to Vince McMahon. <laughs> okay, they, I really wish they would have let Shane Matthews go fill Big Magic in front of Vince. Oh my god. <laughs> but they are professionals. They are. They, they are professionals. Yes. So we can't really blame them for not going all big magic with the, with the, with big magic there. But uh, we, we we were both thinking. I did not get to watch the full episode of Raw because I was at a house show. We'll get to that in a few minutes, I'm sure. Yep. Anyways, they were, of course, squashing the tag match because, you know, local enhancement talent. Uh-huh. And, of course, uh, speaking of Dabaranak, the Dabaranak the team was a part of the conga line. It was a Dabaranak the conga line. That's what it was. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a shame they didn't let them dress up like lumberjacks, though. Oh, my God. Well, no, that would have killed the crowd right there. Dabaranak, Dabaranak. <laughs> I don't think you can chant that on TV. No, you can't. But, well, on USA Network, you can. USA is like... Not sure if so, so, swear words are fans of choirs. <laughs> Although, to be fair, <laughs> they were able to get away with Let Everyone Act a Team on Impact. So That's very true. Which that surprised true. the hell out of me. <laughs> <laughs> I know, me too. I'm like, wait, they're going to allow it? Yeah, I guess they will. <laughs> Nevertheless, moving on. Uh, guess who's going to WWE very soon after a farewell match? 
Keith Lee? No, no, not Keith Lee. Keith uh, Lee. Keith Lee. Yep. I almost confused him with Trevor Lee here, but two very nope. different dudes. No, no. Yeah, it's he's been in and out with the thing. It's I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. Now he's signed. He's going. And I wait to see him uh, wreck dudes in NXT. And he will wreck dudes in NXT. Like, uh, his, God, like, like it's his fucking job. Moving on to Impact for a quick hot moment. Uh, it seems that they killed off Rosemary. I'm not sure how to feel about that one. Yeah, they gave it a full like 10 minutes too. Yeah. And it was the main event. It was main event. And it's like, it, it's, it's, I mean, I, 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 you know, I love, I love impact doing it because it's women's wrestling in the main event. That's good. And it but felt I, like an earned, and it did feel like an earned moment. Yes. Because, you know, uh, Rosemary's having this huge epic brawl against uh, Sue Young, and then out comes Sue Young's bridesmaids, and then out comes Allie to try to even the odds. But, you know, instead they end up restraining Allie, and then Sue Young quite pretty, essentially murders uh, Rosemary and tosses her into a casket. Yep. Also, I could hear the wind coming back up. God damn it. Oh, no. Go Don't away, wind. knock Nobody out the likes power you. again, god damn it. Nobody likes you, wind. <sighs> And for those joining us, well, there, there might be interruptions this evening. Why? Mother Nature being a dick. So yeah, another more fuel to the fire for the Sue Young versus Allie feud. Yeah. Come to the dark side, Allie. We have cookies. <laughs> you want some good news, Maddie? Sure, I can use, use some good news. Being the Elite will be returning. Yes! I saw that video with the there's table read. Oh. Yeah, there's two videos. One, a teaser video. Yeah. And second, a fictional table read. And it's like, and it's like, it's it's breaking kayfabe. Well, break, not breaking kayfabe. It's weird, but it's awesome. Yeah, because uh, Marius Crowe was like, do I really have to keep doing this? I mean, I'm not even British. <laughs> and then Flip's like, Cody, can I get Butch for all in? And Cody's like, Dude, I like you. You're my friend, but my character hates your fucking guts. So, and even sense. Flip's going. Ah, that's true. Fuck yeah. Came and get in. Came and get in. Shoot. <laughs> they're obviously gonna book them. They're just playing in a. They're pl they're obviously playing us. And it's them saying we're playing with you. Don't worry. He'll we'll book them. It's a story. We're telling a story here, folks. Yep. And move on to this week's <laughs> edition of MLW Fusion. Yes. We we'll start off with a uh, brawl between Joy Janela and uh, and uh, Miss and Jimmy Havoc. They end up brawling on the entrance way. They brawled all the way to the back, and then Loki just showed up. He cut a promo on MVP, and then MVP showed up on the stage, and then Loki and then uh, Sammy Callan attacked him from behind. Because he's Sammy fucking Callahan. Yep, and he wanted to weaken MVP for their main event match tonight. And then we finally, and then Tom Lawler went to the ring accompanied by uh, Team Filthy. And Tom Lawler back to have his match against LC ACH due to a quote unquote hand injury. Although the announcers made perfectly clear that he actually was medically cleared and that he's just being a little bitch. And so he had Simon Gotch take his place. <laughs> I'm surprised they could get away with using that name because I thought Simon WWE Grimm. owned that. I thought, yeah, I thought uh, WWE owned that. Yeah. But I guess uh, they could get away with it because they kept on calling him Simon Gotch over and over again and not Simon Grimm, or, which is the name he usually uses on the indie scene. Yeah. Anyways, ACH wins, but Team Filthy attacks him afterwards. And so next week, we are getting ACH versus Lawler. Possibly. That's we'll going to be awesome. Then we got a vignette for MJF, who is one of my very favorite uh, douchebag heels on the indie scene. He plays like character really well mm -hmm. so looking forward to seeing him on here and then we got a man named vandal ortagoon against mike perot who uh who got the big mike chance so to ah. me mike perot new big mike fuck elgin <laughs> yeah but see the new big mike's over there we can still call michael elgin big douche yep big douche this is big mike big mike big douche huge differences yes <laughs> anyways big mike uh Essentially, I uh, just took out Ortigun with a uh, little effort, and then it seems like he'll be joining Colonel Parker's stud stable. He's reforming the stud stable? Oh, nice. Yep. 
Like, you, have, you folks have no idea. Like, I'm marking out over the, well, stuff I should not be marking out at. You should seriously start watching MLW Fusion. Do you have uh, the BN Sports channel? Hmm. Like on Chromecast? You may have to check that. The the, the BN Sports channel? Yeah. You may have to check that on, if you can get that on Chromecast. Oh, let me see if I could do the BN Sports. I believe that's the name of the network. BN Sports app. Let's see here. BN, BN Media Group. Let's see what we have here. Install. I may actually check that out uh, after the show. I mean, I Very have nice. the TV off right now with the Chromecast off because I don't want to break the for the nice big fat screen TV that I have now. Indeed, indeed. But uh, and by the way, we should probably mention Tetsuya Naito, new Intercontinental Heavyweight Champion of the IWGP. Yeah, that actually happened during one of the yeah happened one during one of the road shows. Yeah, during yeah they they usually do like Don Taku's like it's a bunch of road shows. And uh, one of the road shows would have a big main event, like the another open weight, and you know, the tag team matches would be uh, one. The Intercontinental one would be one. New champ, not Minoru Suzuki no more. Now it's Naito, although you now couldn't tell during his entrance. Because he don't give a fuck. <laughs> he thinks there's too many belts, so he's like, not wearing it, too many belts. Only, only if they make me. No, like he's he's just walking out there, no belts. The camera even made sure to zoom in on his abdomen really close to let you know no belts around the waist at all. No belt around the waist during his entrance, yeah. celebration, none of that. Let's see, all sports. Uh, let's see. Be in sports. What do we have? TV guide. What do we have here? Scores live. What do we have live? We have nothing live. Home. Is there a search function on this app? I have no idea. <laughs> uh, moving on with the MLW. Um, uh, Selena De La Renta was being interviewed, and then she just walked off, saw Shane Swerve Strickland, cut a promo on him, left. Sweet to the point. Sweet short and to the point. Yeah, and next week we're going to be... And then next week we'll be getting Jimmy Havoc versus Joey Janela. How's the search going? Still looking for it. Uh, MLW was today, right? Yep, at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. p.m. Let's see here. See, right now I have all events, soccer, motorsport, football, so that's it. Oof. Might have to, uh, might have to wait a few days before it pops up again, I guess. Because I guess they don't do replays. Uh, BN, as in BN, right? Yeah. Anyways, our main event, Sammy Callahan versus Montel Vontavious Porter, MVP. Uh, during the end of the match, a guy who I can only assume is Big McLarge Huge attacked MVP <laughs> following a ref bump. However, he still kicked out. There was more interference. Sammy Callahan hit the cradle killer and got the victory with Big McLarge Huge. Who is Big McLarge Huge? I don't know. That's why I called him that, because the announcers never gave him a name. They're like, who is this guy? Huh. Kind of reminded me of Root Van Slyke. Or a Smash Master? Or Max Smash Master? Sure, let's go with that as well. <laughs> no, let's keep it with Big, Big McLarge Huge. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll get things confused, confused. Right. And anyways, I was referring to a pay review happening this Saturday that I'm excited for. Ooh, what do we got? At 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, it is Wrestle Queenda, brought to you by Pro Wrestling Eve. Okay. What's it'll on the be card? Available, it'll be available on Fight TV for $9.99. Not to be confused by another network thingamagig thingamagimmick. Yes, yeah, being network. Um, they actually had a one-week free trial last week because of the whole rigmarole around the whole, uh, Saudi Arabia not allowing women wrestle. So they're like, "Hey, if you want to see women wrestle, we got them one week free." So I decided to watch one of their shows. Uh, their last show before this one, which was Shivolution, which is excellent. <laughs> 
Okay, uh, so okay. Some of their main matches include Mego Satomura versus Kaylee Ray. That's going to be fucking amazing. Uh, Nicole Matthews will unfortunately not be able to wrestle due to an injury. Yeah. Uh, I believe the same thing with uh, Ginny, possibly. So I think we're going to be getting uh, Chris Wolf versus um, uh, Jedi, I think. Okay. Uh, let me just get up the tweet here because they actually put out a tweet about it. Twenty four hours later, couldn't have lost to a better team. Okay, five years, five years, right here, Don Taku, May third. What better? Five years. What better team to go against than our own brothers on our five year anniversary? All love, baby. All love. You see? All love. These right here. Nobody lost today. Yeah. Bullet Club 1 today. Bullet Club 1. On their anniversary, one. Shout out to Gallows, Anderson, Finn Baylor, AJ Styles. We we'll miss you guys. So that whole bit of 24 hours later, um, we're not kidding. What you just heard at the very beginning was recorded live on Twitch last night, May 5th, 2018. And the power went out a couple of times, as you've noticed. And after, after the second time... We lost it from, I think it was like 10.40 to 6.30 a.m. Just be happy that you didn't have to go through what I did, which is over 24 hours without power. That just sucks. Like, yeah, all I had to do was sleep, done. just go to bed, watch a couple of videos, go to bed. Plug my, you know, I'm just glad I had my, uh, my, my, uh, my battery, you know, my, my, uh, portable battery. To recharge oh, you're, the phone. You're, you're very lucky, sir. I got lucky. Because I got that battery for travel, but it's, it's, believe me. A better time than now. Better situations like this, I'm glad I am a tech nerd in case, in some cases. And yes, now Scorpions wins this change. Because God damn it, it was a, a wind gust that knocked you know, out you the power. You should have played a rock, Rocky like a hurricane. That would have been more appropriate. Because a hurricane would have involved a lot of rain, too. In which case, you'd play Rain by Van Canto. Nevertheless, fair enough. Um, fair enough. We, should... we were, uh, so yeah, we're recording this on Saturday, so if you haven't seen this on YouTube yet, you know exactly why, and there's no chat on the screen as well, because, well, what can I do, you know? <laughs> I guess just slap up the logo, and that's slap about it. Slap up the point. logo, we got the the, 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 the Twitter thing and everything else. There's just no chat, because we don't have a chat active. Because we can't be live right now because Rising Sun Podcast. Nevertheless, I guess we should uh, pick up where we left off, shouldn't we? Yeah, that tweet about uh, Russell Queendom. Yep, uh, so I believe it was what, where tweet. we were at all those yeah, we hours about, ago. Yeah, uh, Russell Queendom technically already happened. I haven't mm -hmm. watched the show yet. I'll be watching it probably tomorrow afternoon. Anyways, the pub update where they stated that uh, Ginny would not be able to perform. Uh, against Chris Wolf and neither and Nicole Matthews will not be able to wrestle uh, against uh, who is she wrestling? Uh, I have the card up actually right here. Uh, Nicole Matthews is supposed to wrestle Jetta, so instead Jetta will be wrestling Chris Wolf, and the winner goes into the ladder matches in one mm. of the, the uh, featured matches. Uh, some of the matches I'm really looking forward to on this card involves some big names like Mako Satomura versus Kaylee Ray. Uh Kaylee Ray previously before the show wrestled Dash Chisako. Oh, okay. 
So yeah, this is basically just build a Kayla Ray to be like one of the aces of the company, I suppose. Yeah, and that, that's the, uh, a fair assessment, I believe. Yep. And uh, and it was going to be one hell of a match. It's going to be Viper versus Aja Kong. You 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 yes yes please yes. I can't believe Aja's still wrestling after all these years, but she, I, I uh, my guess it's a very limited style. I, I would not know, but I'm looking very much forward to that. Mm -hmm. uh, the, of course, we're going to have a ladder match, which features Millie McKenzie, Casey Owens, Nina Samuels, Livy Grace, Leah Owens, and the uh, winner of Chris Wolf versus uh, Chris uh, Chris Wolf versus Jetta. There you go. And then we're also going to have a War Games steel cage match. So obviously, no two rings, but. Still, yeah. war games. We're going to see Rio Riley, uh, let's see, Emmy Sakura, Addy Starr, and Laura Di Matteo against Jayla Dark, Jamie Hayter, Charlie Heavens, and a mystery partner. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. And in the main events, the, uh, the Eve Championship is going to be the main event Empress, Sammy Jane, defending against the Ace of Eve, Charlie Morgan. And I have to tell you guys, the uh, type of environment for the show is absolutely amazing. Uh, Maddie, you've seen like interspecies wrestling and beyond wrestling shows, right? I've seen them on tape and on DVD and on demand, but not live, no. Yeah, but you've seen like the type of environment where it's like just standing room only, right? Standing room only, literally. Especially beyond wrestling is the best is a, is a best example because you see clips all the time of people literally hugging the ring, literally at the ringside. Yeah. Um, that that's the type of environments that Eve has, and I, one thing I loved is I was watching, like I say before we cut out, I was uh, I watched uh, one of their shows, uh, Shevolution. It's a and, mystery. Bum bum. Full of and change, during, no one sees. And actually, <laughs> during one of the matches, one of the Bay faces was in a submission. I can't remember which match it was. I'm mm. sorry. And so she was reaching for the ropes, and one of the fans actually pushed the ropes toward her, and she grabbed it. <laughs> I was like, oh my god, that's fucking amazing. And, like, I just love how into the show the crowds always are for these types of shows. Like, these crowds are always amazing. I love it. I can't wait to watch uh, Russell Queendom. Hey, so you obviously can't wait. <laughs> yeah, but it's, it's only 10 bucks, so it's, it's not much. I mean, I might join you on that, but we'll see. That uh, being said, see. Um, what else uh, do we uh, have to talk about? Guess who's back? Back, back again. again. No way, he's not back again. This is his first return in over a fucking decade. It's... I heard and I refuse to believe out of what the fuckery. Just yes. How? For the first time in 13 years, Muhammad Hassan returned at a, a Dynasty wrestling event at Dynasty King of Thrones by defeating Papa Don. The video is on YouTube of, I believe, a fan cam or something. It's like it's it's kind of like okay then, and the guy looks to me still be a uh, pretty decent shape, and kind of surprised he went back to the Miss Hassan gimmick because uh, I would have thought he would have just gone back to one of his previous ones where he didn't have to play a caricature. I mean, tough times must be tough to go back to that controversial of a gimmick. Hear that, or uh, or uh, he's just feeling good about getting back to wrestling now. Uh, he apparently actually wrote a graphic novel with Shad Gaspard in the meantime. Oh, okay. So done him for all that stuff, and I hope he uh, does well getting back into wrestling. And this isn't just one and done. Awesome. Yep, and uh, on my end, there's going to be a VCW show June 2nd at the Masonic Temple featuring Gino defending the Kamalhari Championship against Ken Dixon, an appearance by recent Royal Rumble participant Swaggle. <laughs> and Brandon Scott will be going one on one against the Pope, Elijah Burke. Cool. And Maddie, you recently went to a WWE live event. Yeah, live event on a Monday. So you folks, uh, those folks watching Raw going, oh, it's kind of a if. Crowd was cool. But of course, it's Montreal. Which I've heard uh, from a friend who actually, a co-worker who went to 
the Montreal show. So I was like, dude, it's like 2000s Attitude Era Montreal. It's so loud. It was. It, it was really a was. loud crowd. Our crowd, eh, not so much. Not so much. It was That's appreciated. We saw some people who were there. Who were there for that. You're saying? That's why you don't get the pay reviews in Ottawa, Maddie. <sighs> we are a B town, and I hate it that we're B town. But I damn, if, I, if, I, awesome. if I could get like the one day off I need to just go to Montreal and just get back and get back for work, I would pull it off. Somehow, our buddy Maddie D pulls it off every time. So he, he knows he could get a ride. <laughs> He's like, hey, uh, Young Bucks, can I get a ride? They, they usually say yes. <laughs> At least that's how it goes in my head. I don't know how it actually is. I, I, I'm i assuming financial payments are usually the norm, I would su- assume. Um, but actually, it was fun. It was as fun as SmackDown Live, obviously, but it was still fun. It was great seeing Shinsuke Nakamura in a live setting in the, for the first time ever. And he does have that aura of charisma that, that is still awesome. Uh, let me just get to the the the, the, the you, you have the whole stage that you see on on, uh, on live clips and everything. Uh, they gave you the the, the SmackDown Live opening, which was kind of cool. Uh, they had uh, they had uh, Naomi. Uh, they had a six lady tag: Naomi, Oscar, and uh, Becky Lynch uh, taking on uh, I believe it was Sonya De- Absolution and uh, who was the third one? Uh, Lana. Danger Zone. Danger Zone, Lana. Looking fine. They had as um, fine as usual, and she. I will say this for 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 her sake, she has improved. Like from what you see on TV and you, you what what I saw on last Monday, she's improved. She could bump. Not as much as one would like to uh, her to improve, but uh, Big Cass won in a squash against Ty Dillinger, who was the most who? over guy in the building. Who? Ten. Oh no 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 no! no. Wait, wait wait Big. I'm sorry sorry sorry. I am so sorry. Big ass. There you go. And by the way, they they uh, they cut like they they had an extra line lingering second one. Big, you know, Cass throws his, uh, his finger up and he starts walking. The Tron looks at it, just blocks the seat just right. As usual. That's what I would expect. He defeated the perfect 10, Tylen Dillinger, and the 10. Ty Dillinger learned that you can't teach height and that my name is Big Ass. Oh, yes. Fatal four way for the tag titles. It was the Usos, uh, uh, New Day, uh, Biggie, and Kofi. Um, Rusev Day. Yay! Which was kind of a last minute addition, I think, because it wasn't advertised. Uh, this was advertised as like a triple threat. As a matter of fact, uh, Usos had a promo at the beginning of the, of the show, a pre tape promo advertising the triple threat. Whoops. And it was uh, the Bludger Brothers winning, and my father could not care less for that match. Uh, yeah, and I and like the I had a hard my time. Boys. Like, what can I say? It was hard to follow. I will say this though: it was not as bad. Oh boy! You know, I hate to say that Shelton Benjamin had a stinker. But if there's anyone that could have a stinker, it's Sin Cara. I like Sin Cara. He's one of my boys. They had a stinker. I hate to say it. The crowd, the crowd was ready for intermission. Let's put it that way. Stupid Awa. I blame you. Uh, dude, not my fucking fault they were fucking boring in the fucking ring. Yes, it was. You didn't try hard enough. You didn't believe in Sin Cara. You had to believe. No. You gotta believe. No. Come on, listen to Papa Larpa and believe in Sin Cara. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. We. No. See. Damn it! What's the Spanish word for no? 
Oh my god. No! Thank you. <laughs> Hi! Oh, come on, dude! No! We! Oui. No! <laughs> okay. Move on right along. Nine! That's all I got. Yeah, I can't top that. We had a Miz TV segment, ironically not on TV. The Miz was there, and for those wondering why Miz TV brought up the fact that he banned Daniel Bryan from Miz TV, I could tell you why. Miz, when my hand goes up, your mouth goes shut. Daniel Bryan, when your hand goes up, your face gets punched. The hand went up, the face got punched, the crowd went yes, it was pretty over, pretty over. Yeah, I think Daniel Bryan's moderately over with the audience overall. Yep, 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 yep. You can tell the crew was a bit on the tired side, though. Um, let's see, we had an intermission, and uh, I got the, the mini belt replica, thanks to being, a, I guess, a good person. I've explained this live. I'm not going to bring it up here. I don't want to broadcast you explained it. explained it on Riftdown. I explained it on Riftdown. I explained it again uh, to the boys. Uh, I don't like the broadcast. I'm a good person. I just I just, I just, just see someone to help. I try to help. That's what it is, you know. They returned, uh, and uh, we had uh, Gallows and Anderson versus uh, Sheamus and Cesaro, the bar. And by the way, Gallows did say, no, it's been on a mic. But we heard him. Great match. My father appreciated that over anything else. Uh, we had uh, Carmella versus Charlotte Flair for the Women's Championship. Carmella uh, disqualified herself using a chair to the back. Uh, and the main event was Jeff Hardy and AJ Styles, the U.S. and WB champs, taking on Samoa Joe and Shinsuke Nakamura, who I tell you, it's it's... It's not the best context to see a guy live, obviously. I'm not going to say that. But to see Shinsuke Nakamura alive and in living color, that's awesome. Did you I got sing to along see to his theme song? You got the new theme song and everything, yeah. So did you sing along to it? Well, I couldn't because I, you know, I couldn't rap in Japanese. Can you rap at all? To quote, to uh, paraphrase George Carlin, I am white. And I'm lame. Well, Eminem's white and he can rap. <sighs> I have too much booze in me to argue here. <laughs> oh, you've been drinking. Well, yeah, I mean, it's first time we got the chance to, to take up the barbecue and we've, we've had beverages. The whole family has had beverages. So professional of you. Hey, we didn't expect to, to lose power for, for almost 12 fucking hours. Bite me. Plus, it's Saturday. To Tsunami's coming up there for after we're recording this. I'm going to enjoy my one day off. Thank you. With some My Hero Academia. Looking forward to that, by the way. I know you are more than I, not I but mm, I'm still looking forward to That's it. That's because I've already seen the first two seasons, and oh my god, it's so fucking good. Would you say we are ready? Nobody's ready. <laughs> no one is ready for Asuka. Anyway. anyway. Anything else or we're just going to the gimmick here we're supposed to do here? It's time! It's time! For me to get to get Dave. What the hell? Don't tell me you were unprepared. No, 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 no. I just hit the credits button, not the, uh, the, 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 the uh, sign-off button, not the, uh, the, the, the comments button. I'm drunk. <laughs> this is why you don't drunk in. This is why you don't drink in podcasts, ladies and gentlemen. No, no, no. You said it right. You said it right. You don't drunk in podcasts. That's what it is. <laughs> it's time for your emails and comments of the week. You can send them at the Russellcast at gmail .com. We begin if the phone will cooperate, and it does. Dark Mormor, meanwhile, in Saudi Arabia. Government agent, your highness, it appears that the country is being attacked by a giant robot of dragon and grim uh, drag 
What about a dragon and a grim reaper? Prince, meh, we'll be fine. <laughs> what was that? That uh, was one of our oil rigs. Prince, for fuck's sake, we don't have our own giant robot. If so, attack their robots. Meanwhile, the Black Dahlia airship. Living in the West Texas, Texas, you have no idea how much I want to see an oil rig go up in flames. Evil reference. Yeah, guessing the cost of living is high. Murmur, not along with car crashes, drug deals, corrupt police department with a report on sleeping with, with two on, on them and running a sting operation on sex trafficking with a parlor just for a story. Or better. And I thought Ropinor, uh, Ropinor, was, a, Ropinor was a cesspool. Ropinor was a cesspool. That was a quick flashback of her flying a fight against Revy. Mm. Last women standing. No more. Ain't any time for predictions, which, by the way, also glad Titus didn't hit the middle of the ring apron either. Also, unlike Taka in the 2000 Royal Rumble match. Oh, he didn't hit the. Oh, no, no. He, f he fell flat on his fucking face, is what happened in the 2000 Rumble. Oh, yeah. Ha and I'm pretty sure it still has Jerry Lawler marking the fuck out to this day. Rip, he wasn't even officially in the match. I know, right? WB Backlash. Anyone w else wish this was just a single brand pay per view so we could have two months to, of build to, uh, to build a rivalry? Nah. Public execution match. Seriously, W, you fucked Roman over like that? Roman versus Samoa Joe. He, he's, he's calling Joe to win. Another pe public execution match. Walking Armageddon versus the greatest Royal Rumble winner and the greatest Royal Rumble winner versus Canada's favorite sons. He's calling Kevin and Sammy to win this one. The American Dragon versus Big Ass. I mean chaos. I mean ass. I mean chaos. Can you idiots choose a different camera angle? Nope. <laughs> Winner, Daniel Bryan, followed by a post-match attack by Cass and Miz. SmackDown Women's title, The Nature Girl, versus another sus, uh, sus, uh, successful Money in the Bank holder from 2017. Winner, Carmella, Rip Van Winkle. Thanks a lot, iconic duo. Raw Women's Championship, The Irresistible Force versus The... Uh, the Irresistible... The, 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 the Irresistible Force versus Little Miss Cosplayer. He's calling that Nia Jax to win. U.S. title, Itch Wee with three E's, player. Taking on the Viper. He's calling Jeff to retain. I see title match. Title Black versus Mike Mizan. And he's calling Mike, Mike uh, he's calling uh, Rollins to retain. WWE Championship, no DQ. The champ that runs the camp versus AJ Styles versus the Nutcracker, Shinsuke Nakamura. Winner, Nut Shitsuke Nakamura via low blow. Roberto goes, pardon, uh, pardon Master Mortimer, but it seems that Saudi military has their own giant robot. Mortimer, with the money they make, I'm not surprised. Mortimer, maybe we should surprise them with a secret weapon of our own, Mortimer. Yes. You reverend, Ray, Raven, it's time. Ray inside the Shadow Dragon Sword, ready, Raven? Raven inside the Dev Scythe God Gundam, as always. And both go Death God Dragon Sword combination active uh, act, uh, sequence activate. The Saudi Arabian government pass, pissed their pants in fear of seeing the Dragon Sword Death Scythe combined. Death God Dragon Sword combination complete. Rapid weapons online. Camera cuts to the Death God Dragon Sword towering over the Arabian robot. Huh. Uh, come on. Come on, Maddie. You can do this. I did not want it archived. Son of a dick. Ba -dum -ba -dum. Well. If it's always something, god damn it. It's always something, god damn it. Just want to read the emails. 
And the fucking thing thinks I'm pressing the thing and says, oh, we'll delete slash archive the thing for you. No, you idiot. I want to read it so I can do the thing and go to the thing and not be an idiot for the rest of the fucking night. Which, yeah, good luck doing that. Yes! Thank you, T-Dub. All right, let's see here. May 4th, May 4th. Uh, there you go, that's the one. All right, let's move you back to... Yes! Let's move you back to where you're supposed to be here. There we go. Next Get up back. is... Get back to where you once belong. All right, here we go. Back to... Uh, it's our good buddy, by the way. French. Oh, thank you, Dina. Hello, Russell WrestleCast. It's that bastard time of the year where you have to pay off taxes. I know uh, this year... I will, since a part-time job and work as a freelancer. But some people, yeah, I need to go there. Am I right, Chintai Carl, about that particular streamer? Anyway, I'll give you the quick rundown of the Greatest Royal Rumble. It's a glorified house show with nice screws of weight match. A BS finish to a steel cage. Fuck you, Marks. Roman is still a challenger for the GM Bell title. And the Roman, the Royal Rumble, kudos to both D. Bry, the longest participant in the Final Four match, and Bronny for winning the bout and breaking record of hell by Reigns, which is most deliberate in eliminations. That said, we tackle on another pay per view. Hoy. Backlash, we're back to the dual brand thing, which is maybe a good thing, but we may never know. Outside of SmackDown, we're going to have the best build up. I don't know about Raw's maybe Alexa's mind games with her mi moment of bliss, which is glorious trollage on, in a good way. Anywho, time to wrap this up. Uh, Pay-per-view, there, there is none. Well, for now, maybe Cedric Alexander. I could tell you, versus Buddy Murphy for the Cruiserweight title, I could tell you that it's uh, Bailey versus Ruby Wright. And that's been set up. We'll obviously talk about that. Brian Strowman versus Bobo Lasho versus Team Narico. First off, the Rockstar Reception in Montreal. Magic. Unfortunately, the wrong man got pinned on Raw and the, and the fans. They're not happy. Thank God Strowman was too charismatic to let it slide. Anyway, the Vince's Wet Dream Team Wet Dream Team will beat Steen and Generico, and I'm glad, and I'm sad in my head place. I see title, the next, the next Hokage versus down. It's certain the Miz will continue his feud with Brian, so Rollins to retain due to an interference from the match. We'll see you later. SmackDown Women's Subtle Staten Island's Staten Island Jester versus Charlotte Flair. I got a feeling that Carmella will obtain via BS finish. If the plan is Charlotte versus Ronda will happen, we never know. Raw Women's Subtle Polly Pocket versus Nia Jax. Can't believe Alexa will have a control anyone with those PSA against bullying. And that's the reason why she's one of the one of the top uh, on top uh, the lack of skills in the ring. She he doesn't think okay he's not he's calling Alexa uh, he's calling Nia Jax, American Dragon versus Big Ass. Yep, the animation of their match at Backlass. Brought to you by the Big Ass joke. Maybe it's uh, the better uh, back at the. Uh, maybe it's better time to change it back to Colin Cassidy, before someone roasts him in a promo. Good idea. This one's tricky. On the one hand, Brian is still hot after his return after Mania 24. On the other hand, Cassidy just came back. Is on a roll in his heel run. So is that time where Miz before this icy uh, match will interfere? Uh, it, it cost Brian it is match against Colin. And then after, Brian will cost the Miz the title match. Roman Reigns versus the Big Dog. I had to say it. Roman Reigns wins. Screw creative. 
WB title, Alan Jones Styles versus Nutcrack Amura. I swear someone needs to make a t-shirt of Shinsuke as a nutcracker. Evil Reverend, it's up to you, buddy. The match will be no DQ, meaning that the numbers of nut shots will go through the roof. And it'll be a, a, here that Nakamura will win the WB title. Styles has, a, has had a good run. And dropping here would be beneficial to both to build Shinsuke as a heel champion. Winners? Well, he made it. Hulk Hogan may be coming back to the E. Say what you will about his ego, he'll never leave. But you can't deny he's still making a, uh, there, he's still making a roar for him. Yeah, he's uh, saying uh, that he he might come. He he's actually working. They're working to make sure that it's done correctly. I.e., you know, Hulk Hogan defeating Brock Lesnar at SummerSlam so for some dumb fucking reason. But we'll see what happens. The crowd of Montreal for Raw and SmackDown. God, it's great to have people like them. Taiji Ishimori for former X Division champion joins the Bullet Club. You know what? Let's give him a chance. The return of Chris Jericho in New Japan, who battered Tetsuya Naito after Domin uh, after Duntaku, not Dominion. There, so he right wrote down Dominion here. Looks like we'll see. We have our next feud. Keith Lee will join WB very soon. I haven't seen him him in action, but apparently he's a talented man up for his size. Put him in NXT. He is very talented. I will. I can. I think you and I, T-Dub, can confirm this. I don't confirm nothing. <laughs> what about Keith Lee being a good, talented person? I'll say it, but not as confirmation for you. I'll say it as my own words. No, that's uh, no, 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 it's, it's still your own words. You're good. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> <laughs> you know, at this point, I might be drunk enough to do it, but I won't. Uh, losers, WB commentary team for calling the crowd of WrestleMania like Bizarre Land. Keep insulting your fan base, WWE. Fucking douchers. Conan Reeves is new gimmick. Seriously, you, you're not Tyler Breeze. You could pull off, uh, Eddie, you could pull off a prettier boy, a uh, better pretty boy, I like you. He could pull off a better pretty boy other than you, Conan, Conan Reeves. I mean, the reason why Sammy and Mustafa Ali weren't allowed on the show in Saudi Arabia it may be for the right reason. Both of them are Syrians with the tension between the two countries. No wonder why they're not allowed, which is a shame, to be honest. The sales of the New Japan uh, special, the G1 special in San Francisco for July 7th, only 3,000 tickets were sold at the Cow Palace for the first team that could carry 10,000 seats. 10, well, actually, seats. um... 3,000 were sold, and 4,000 are available for uh, VIP members of New Japan. Yeah, uh, they're, they're, receive, they're reserving those who are, for those who have the uh, Team New Japan or Club New Japan gimmick going. So technically, they have 4,000 uh, sold, technically. But still, but, uh, they definitely... Uh, they got a ways to go first, obviously. Um, and hopefully, uh, Chris Jericho and Naito will do that. That's it. Have a nice weekend. Enjoy backlash, and that's uh, and that, that's what it is. And for what Thank it is, you too, friendship. And for what it is, may the fourth be with you. Oh, same to you, French. And LPH, who, by the way, uh, dude, are you okay? Just asking. Seriously, some of the shit you're putting up online lately. Before I make my comments on one of Sound Tuesday, I make a botched joke. I meant to say uh, Project Million. And not Power Morphicon. I'm sorry for everyone on my joke. That's what makes... Now it makes sense. Project Million. On Rift down there. Yeah, uh, uh, let's move just on. for bringing them up, uh, I'd like to say uh, on behalf of everyone, Dave. Yeah, he meant uh, he meant Power. He's like, I'm, are you sure? Because that was well spelt for Morphicon, I'll tell you. Anyway. Uh, okay, Backlash 2018. Yeah, that, that Dave still counts, by the way. The, uh, Backlash 2018, let's do Jax versus Bliss. He's calling Jax to win. Big ass X versus my ex Charlotte. Mella is money. The eighth Hokage versus the CrossFit Jesus. Uh, the dead the dead of Hokage. Sorry, Miz. Uh, Jeff versus the Age of Orton. Oh, that's a great movie. Great, great, great Avengers movie. I tell you, the guy that plays Orton, great, great voice actor. Oh, you mean Randy Orton. Never mind. <laughs> Avengers, I'm coming to defeat. I have no strength. 
Anyway. <laughs> yeah, Mary so Norton is so boring, he puts himself to sleep. Yes. Mr. Hart, I don't feel so good. Ha! Huh? Oh. <laughs> Roman, Bret Hart, 97 Range versus Joe is going to kill you. Look over it. Look, look it. Look it over. Winner or lose, it's over. Roman Reigns back to the mid card. Hell. And the real main event, AJ. I don't have a. a I don't have balls of steel. Styles versus Shitsuke King of Ball Punch style Nakamura. In the year of chaos, new champ and in, in Japan, Y2J versus Naito is on, and Michael uh, Naito Ma Okada four. I'm sorry, Omega Okada four next month. Yay! By the way. Two out of three falls, no time limit. We talked about this. Never mind. Yes. <laughs> There's can one you tell, can, you tell, on. can, can you tell us all it's been 24 hours? Can you also uh, tell that Maggie's been drinking a bit? And not giving a fuck in the least. Uh, winner in New Japan, Toonami Marvel Hasbro for buying Power Rangers and me for getting a PS4 for the 10th time. Woo! Lose. Keep it this time. Loser, Roman, me, and Kanye West, you know why. All right, so let's uh, see you guys next month, guys, he says. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, if I get the, the bun correctly and not send this to, to credits, it'll be indeed those on your emails and comments of the week. You can send them at the Russellcast at gmail.com. We shall return with our preview of WWE Backlash. Do not go far, people. And now a word from our sponsors. Ladies and gentlemen, Elias. Hello, I am Elias. And now before I begin, please... Silence your cell phones and hold your applause until after I am done. Because I have one question for everybody here. Who wants to count with Elias? One, two, three, we walk and count along with me. You're absurd when you're hungry. Snickers satisfies. This is WMOB Mobile. 12 on your channel dial and 12 in the TV ratings. This past Friday at the greatest Royal Rumble event in Saudi Arabia, AJ Styles and Shinsuke Nakamura fought to an inconclusive outcome when the match ended in a double countout. During the match, Nakamura used an undetected low blow on AJ. The referee didn't see it, but AJ certainly felt it. After the match, AJ viciously attacked Nakamura. Both superstars acted beyond the bounds of good sportsmanship. Therefore, to ensure the match at Backlash has a clear winner, AJ Styles and Shinsuke Nakamura's WWE title match this Sunday will now be no disqualification. Told you I'd find a way to play that gimmick again. <laughs> I quit. That's it. I quit. I'm done. See you later. <laughs> Get back here. We still. Get... Oh, come on. <laughs> come on. Get back here. <laughs> Dude, I couldn't find an 8-bit version of Big Balls, okay? You didn't look hard enough. <laughs> well, let's put it this way. I did find one, but no drum beat means no Maddie. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. Great Balls! Ow! Ow! <laughs> so I suppose it's time to get this over with. Yeah, Russell Cass is back. RVT Entertainment, BrokenInfinite.com, Podomatic.com, Pots and Casting Places. We're supposed to be live on Twitch.tv, but Mother Nature put a kibosh on that. Uh, Matt and T-Dub, let's get over 
And the thing that we're supposed to be talking about... Do we have to? Like, I honestly... I was kind of hoping to be wrong about this, and this was supposed to be next week. Nope, it's uh, it's tomorrow. <sighs> well, I guess uh, by the time people hear this, it'll be tonight. It'll be tonight. It'll be to well, it'll be up as soon as possible. So within twenty four hours, I'll be watching this uh, pop of you, which is called Backlash Dual Branded uh, from the uh, Prudential Center in Newark, New Jersey. So they'll have a crowd. It's actually just in New Jersey. There's there's no New York, New Jersey. Yeah, New Newark. That's why I have that's why I have Newark as in. I thought you were saying New York. Newark as in N E W A R K. Thought you were trying to pull an accent there. No, no, no. Newark as in Newark. I was spelling Newark, Newark. Though I could kind of see the confusion, especially with my, especially because it's me. And you're a little, uh, you're a little tipsy. A little tipsy. And regretting it now, the headache is starting to pound a little bit, which is weird. Usually it doesn't happen until the day after with you. I know, right? <laughs> well, I ain't work. Well, I am. And then I move moving on. Do you have work tomorrow? I have, do have work tomorrow. <laughs> oh, fuck. I usually, you know what, man? We When we have, like, drinks like this, uh, especially during the uh, the cons, we usually have, I usually take some a uh, lot of water and some Tylenol before going to bed, so... I shall be okay. I well, our first shall match be is yeah, our first pre-show. match is the, the pre-show main event. The Honey Mustard KFC Mountain Dew pre-show main event Snickers. Uh, Bailey taking on Ruby Wright over the Riot Squad. Of course, Russell, Liv Morgan, and Sarah Logan will be ringside. Of course, I am conflicted. Explain. I want Bailey to win, but I also want Ruby Riot to win. That is that's a good conflict. I ain't conflicted too. I get the feeling that's what it's like. It's a pre-show, so obviously there is going to be like they want you want to get the crowd going, but at the same time, <laughs> fuck you, New Jersey. Yeah, I'm calling Ruby Riot simply because Sasha Banks won't show up or tries to show up and costs the match or something like that. Which, by the way, Bailey and Sasha Banks stuck in the pre-show. How sad is that? That's kind of what I was worried about when they did dual brand. Is that a lot of uh, people usually on the main card are now getting relegated to the pre-show? Speaking of the main show, uh, we start with the only tag team match on the card. Oh, that's right. No, the tag belts are on the line. None of the tag belts are on the line. No. Braun Strowman and, Ro- and uh, Bobby Lasho versus Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. Uh, I'll, I'll go with... Um, Braun! Sure, why not? Braun and Brett Bobby. Yeah. No, actually, you know what? Kevin and Sami could win it. I mean, the fact that they lost at the, pre- at the, at the go-home show usually... Is a good indicator of the heels winning, but we'll see. Daniel Bryan versus Big Ass. Officially, we have to call him Big Cass, but you get the idea. Bryan wins. Uh, yep, give the win to D. Bry. He needs it. I won't say he needs it, but it would, but still, just do it because he is the star. Yes. Roman Reigns takes on Samoa Joe. Uh, I assume Reigns will win. Yeah. Yeah. The last time Reigns won a pay review was um Say uh, Fastlane? No, that was SmackDown. Uh Elimination Chamber. Elimination Chamber then, yeah. That was the last pay review he won. So yeah, uh, yeah. February. Oof. He hasn't won a pay review match since February. Uh, so much for being the top guy, I guess. Tell that to Vince. Anyway, what SmackDown Women's Championship, Carmella takes on Charlotte Flair. Uh, Carmella is the reigning champion. I say Carmella via shenanigans. Big money, Mella. Uh, Raw Women's Championship, Nia Jax takes on Alexa Bliss. I, you know what? This is this is the, like the backlash match to their uh, Romania match where it should this one 
please have it shorter. Keep it on Naya. She's earned it. Agreed. Uh, U.S. Championship. Jeff Hardy takes on Randall Keith of Boredom. I mean, Orton. Keep it on Brother Nero. Please. Please. That's my call, too. Intercontinental Heavyweight Championship. Seth Rollins defends against the Miz. The Miz, the Miz, the Miz, the Miz, the Miz, the Miz. The Miz. Uh, keep it on Rollins. Keep it on Rollins. And then the main event of the, event of the evening, which should have been the main event of WrestleMania, by the way. <clears throat> AJ Styles takes on Shinsuke Nakamura. No disqualification for the uh, heavyweight championship of the world of the WWE. Puts belts on Shinsuke. Yeah. We don't care if it takes 10 low blows. Put belt on Shinsuke. Because it's no DQ, I expect what I think would be hilarious if the match just started with Shinsuke just low blowing AJ out the gate and then just <laughs> pinning him for the win. Oh, God. How? It, there's that one scene of, of a boxing match on uh, Malcolm in the Middle between the two dads, uh, Brian Cranston and another. And it's just low blow city. <laughs> Wouldn't be disqualification. And. Well, they, they, they obviously it was double disqualification there, but this one, was, I, just, I can imagine AJ and Jinsuke just whopping the shit out of their junk. <laughs> so just oh, someone on Twitter actually noted, uh, I don't know how they came across this information, but they noted that AJ apparently had a vasectomy uh, quite a while ago, so, uh, I guess this, so I guess this is just added pain for AJ. Oh, ow, 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 owie. I'm going to try to find that clip for later, but uh, that's the show. Uh, we got to do winners and losers first. Tell of you course. who my loser this, this week is. Jesus Christ, this fucking wind. Oh, what? my loser is Jesus Christ as well. What a count. No, 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 no. Be honest. T-Dub? Yes? Who are your real losers? Uh, can I say Buddha? <laughs> Dude, we're trying to we're trying to finish this up so we can go and watch Junami. We got plenty of time for that. Um, anyways, my loser this week is the win for knocking out Maddie's power. And WWE for entering a 10-year deal with the Saudi government. I... <sighs> Gonna be a long ten years. Fucking Christ! Winners before we get depressed again. Uh oh, that is actually quite simple. Uh we have quite a few. We have uh pro wrestling in general. Once again, it's just been a really hot week for it. Yep, yep, yep. I can agree with that. Like I, it's just there's just so much to choose from. I just love it. Like if WWE is lacking, I can just go uh, elsewhere and uh, get it for a better price. By the way, I actually got an email a couple days ago from WWE. Let me just read it for you. All right. Uh, let's see if I can still pull it up here. Uh, now listen up. This is a story about that little guy that lives in the blue world. Here we go. <laughs> Last chance, get three months of WWE Network for just 99 cents, including backlash, money in the bank, and, and extreme rules. 99 offer expires, cents? Yeah, offer expires May 7th. I just, I just have to get that. 99 cents. That's a, that's a coffee. That's that, less than coffee. That's less than coffee. <laughs> Dude, I jump at that shit in half a minute. I think they're really, uh, really, really wanting to inflate their numbers as much as possible just for the shareholders. Mm hmm. So they can go, like, hey, look at all these subscribers we had, even though most of them are getting it for free or 99 cents. But don't pay attention to that. Look at our numbers. Anyway, uh, for me, my winner, Chris Jericho, because. He played us like fools. Or in the words of Chris Jericho during one of his promos, I trolled all of you. Yep. All of the yup. Yup, yup, yup. Uh, you got a new video out. 
Yes, I do. My review of TNA Impact's video game. You poor bastard. <laughs> and you uh, people voted on it. You people made me do it. You sons of bitches. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't. Pay, I didn't. I didn't pay to pay for. I didn't pay for you to review that piece of junk. Which one did you vote for? Did you vote for Borderlands or Impact? Borderlands. Let's put it Thank this you. way. Borderlands is a better game than TNA Impact. To change my mind. You hear that? He wants DMs. Well, not DMs. You could tweet me a bit, uh, publicly, of course. Anyway. Uh, is that the show? Yeah, I think that's the show. We got we got to do our plugs. I would do the plugs, but uh, we're not live. Uh, I can tell you, Toka Riffs tomorrow, 10... P uh ten no not ten p.m. uh <laughs> seven p.m. Eastern Standard seven p.m. Time. Eastern Standard Time we're back to our regular schedule thank you by the way uh we're doing uh Lupin versus Pato we're doing Common Rider Bill we're doing doing Gavon we're doing Hurricane and of course Toku memes of the week we had a whopper round last week like no kidding the the video is on our uh, official YouTube channel whopper round last week. Uh, Monday, Shades plays. He's doing eight bit, eight bit, uh, Mega Man eight bit death match. Uh, eight p.m. Eastern for that. Riff down eight p.m. Eastern with this guy and this gang of cronies. Hello. It was fun being. It was fun doing that little bit of a cameo there. By the way, thanks for having me. I was not me expecting on. that. You must have been bored. Uh, I I, just, I, just, I usually have a Skype call doing wrestling on Monday, and I didn't have that, so I was go. I was itching for a fix. You know, I had to, I had to do something. Even though now we don't know which, if, even, if, even if you are the real Matty J, we don't know that now. That's now up to confusion. <laughs> on uh, Wednesday, uh, another edition of Mugged Minis. We couldn't do it last week. I don't think we'll be able to do it. Well, no, we're going to try to do it this week. Weather is shit. Ask Bio. On uh, Thursday, we'll have another edition of Ranger Recap. It'll be a classic edition, of course. And uh, we'll, all, all of the news. All of the news. Uh, have you heard Hasbro bought Power Rangers? I don't know. I don't know. This might be news to you. But Hasbro bought the Power Rangers brand out. Right. We'll talk about that and the repercussions. And, of course, speculation on those repercussions on uh, Thursday. And, of course, we'll be back with uh, tomorrow on uh, Friday, 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, weather permitting, of course. God damn it. Uh, with another edition of the Russell Castle, we'll review our uh, WWE back a lash. Which ought to be fun as hell. Shall it be fun as hell, T Dub? We'll see. You just want to get back to your Switch. I could tell. Uh, possibly my Switch or something. I don't know. You've been playing Splatoon all day, so. Uh, I've been playing Splatoon 2 a bit, yeah, just because it's Splatfest today. Yes. It's going to uh, be Splatfest uh, for the next couple of weeks every weekend because they're doing a Ninja Turtles tournament. Oh, I'll let you get back to that as soon as humanly possible. Even then. though it doesn't make a difference to me because I'm not a Turtles fan. So, man. Uh, right. When it comes that to Turtles versus Power Rangers, <laughs> I choose Power Rangers. You've chosen wisely. You hear that, you nerds? <laughs> but that's just being from a, being a Ranger fan, you know. So turtles are cool too. Love that I that uh, '90s live action movie, the first one. Yep. Anyway, that'll do it for us. We thank you very much for tuning in, and uh, we apologize. Of course, on behalf of myself, I do apologize. I hate it when I have to call a show off because of bullshit I can't control. I absolutely do. That being said, we'll be back live next week. All that good stuff. Until then, I'll be having my good buddy TWK. Until next time, this is TWK of TWK Reviews. Telling you to work your get back in my Jason Man in the next mutation. Nah. The only reason I would watch Next Mutation is because Scott McNeil's in it for an episode, and it's worth just that. And T-Dub is Googling that right now as we speak. I'll be on my money. I'm not Googling nothing. I'm going back to my Switch. <laughs> sure. See, be glad they didn't go for the whole TWK eats children gimmick. I'm generous like that. Listen, but unlike you, I'm not a British cannibal. <laughs> <laughs> my
my name is Vanny J. Romano, you professional wrestling support you independent promotion as soon as possible. Have a good one. Have a safe one. God damn. I hope it's a safe one next week. And may the Schwartz be with you. <laughs> The referee's decision still stands, which means that Brock Lesnar is still the WWE Universal Champion. Thank you. Here's the clicker. No one would blame you.